Our family is in the middle of a whole house renovation of our 1970s mobile home. And I've been making some good progress on the living room, so I wanted to give you guys the update and let you know where we're at. So a lot of you guys know that we've already gutted the room, pulled down the paneling, pulled out the insulation, built out the walls to five and a half inches, re-insulated with rock wool, put up drywall, and that's about where it stayed. Since then, we brown papered our walls. That's just a personal technique we do to give the wall some texture because we enjoy that little bit of extra something in the wall. So since we did all that work, we've gotten a lot more done. Today, I am working in the living room. This is our front entryway. You guys might remember this area. I was actually gonna build a closet in here. I think I'm gonna scrap that whole idea. I decided I just don't like in my mind how the closet is looking. So instead, I'm thinking about building a built-in bench with some coat hooks above it, just a nice little built-in area. It'll make the area feel a lot nicer. So today, I'm gonna to be working on this wall. I'm gonna do something cool to that. And also, uh, trying to get this room painted. Now we've enjoyed our ceiling lights in our bedroom so much that I decided to do the same light in the living room, but larger. So it's basically just an LED light fixture with a load of LEDs in there. Yeah. Our ceilings are pretty low in the house, only seven and a half feet, so I can touch them pretty easily. And so we try to keep all of our light fixtures kind of low profile. It's hard to find really nice low profile fixtures, but I've been liking these to go with our theme. And these over here are very slim, close to the ceiling, really cool fixtures. And like it really lights up that entry area, I'm impressed. So now that we got light in here, I can start working on some trim, I think.
So as you saw, we painted the room and that just transformed the space. It's so bright, so clean, so awesome. So not only did we paint, but you guys saw that we added a textured panel wall uh, to where we were gonna build a closet. And now we're gonna try to build like an open coat hanger system with a bench. I think that's just gonna make the space feel open and nice and clean. We also painted our computer desk nook black. If you saw that black area, that's gonna be where our desk is. We love it so much in our bedroom that we decided to mimic it in the living room. And the black is gonna help the desk disappear, help the computer disappear, and just give a nice cool space for the electronics in the room. And then we needed light, so I put up the ceiling lights. Ceiling lights are looking awesome. We used a nice big simple light for the middle of the room, small light over the door, and that's pretty much it. Also put up a smoke alarm. So as you can see, the room is like looking good. It's so awesome to see it actually like almost complete. I know there's still some work to do, but if you think about it, it's just a living room. All we have to do is put down a floor and put up some trim, some final touches, and we literally have a room. So speaking of trim, I am actually starting the trim. We gotta do these two windows. That's, that's my goal right now is just getting those windows done. Uh, so far, I actually cut window sills. That's actually four window sills. I just have them stacked here. Uh, I got a window sill for this window, for that window, the kitchen window, and our daughter's bedroom window because it still needs trim around that too. So I cut all four sills and I'm just working on getting the trim done. That was pretty easy. Uh, just cut it to length, I beveled it. I don't know if you guys know, but we make all of our own trim from pine boards. It saves a lot of money and we can get the exact look we want. There's no point in paying a lot of money for fancy trim because we're going for like a really simple, minimalist design in this house. So we really like the simple trim. You'll see that this wall still has not been finished yet. We're gonna be doing an accent wall there. That's coming soon. Um, I'm not ready for that, but I'm almost ready. And it's gonna be really cool, I think. I'm gonna try something totally different that you guys have never seen before. I've never seen it before, but I hope it works. So now that you're up to date, let's get working on the trim and we'll try to get those two windows done. This, uh, this board still has some uh, factory markings on it. So I'm gonna go ahead and sand it down. We got a dirty mark on it right there. Somebody stepped on it. So I'll sand these boards down, get them ready, then I'll nail them in. I really hate putting holes in this nice wood, but we can hole fill it, it won't be too obvious. I gotta find a new way to hook trim down. I saw a channel recently, they were doing some hot glue. It looked like they were doing hot glue under their trim, and I thought that was interesting. I've never considered something like that. I might have to do some experimentation in the future, but for now this is fine. So now I got these uh, jam extensions cut to the top. Okay, we got a good start on two of the windows. I got all these jam extensions done, the sills done, and the bottom trim under the sill. I think I'm gonna call it quits on the window trim though because it's just raining, it's so wet outside, and I have to keep running outside to cut wood, cut trim, get it ready. And I just don't like walking in the rain and tracking in a bunch of mud every time I come in the house. So I'll just wait until the rain stops to finish up that, but at least these two windows are looking Really good. So I don't think there's too much more I can do tonight. A um, Couple little jobs I can get done, but otherwise I guess I'm gonna call it quits and go relax. One of those little jobs is actually replacing an outlet back here. 
I'm in the computer nook and you can really see that texture of the paper on the wall and you can see why we do that technique. It's actually really cool. We, we enjoy that unique wall texture. I have a white outlet that we want to turn black. So I picked up a black outlet. We're going to swap this out. Can't even see what I'm doing, it's so dark in here. All right, probably can't even see it, but there was a black outlet right there, and that is done. And we'll get back at it another day. So I snuck out to the barn, I made a few pieces of trim for the casing. In case you guys haven't seen uh, our trim, I'll show you up close. You can see we just take a two inch pine board that actually starts out as a one by four. We rip it down to two inches and then we just put a little bevel on the edge and that's our trim, really simple. And we use the same trim as our baseboards and our window and door trim and it works really well for us. So after I get these nailed on to the sides, I'll be able to measure my top piece and this window will be done. 57. One more, just one more. Well, I guess we're gonna end it here. It feels like we didn't get a lot done, but we got a ton done. I mean, the room transformed so quickly. So the next thing on the list is gonna be ordering the floor. If you guys have been following our community page, you'd already see the floor that we picked out. We'll be picking that up very soon, I think. And then hopefully wrapping up this room. Can't wait to do our accent wall. That'll be coming soon, a lot of cool things. So as always, we really appreciate you guys watching. And until next time, take care. Bye. And we also finally got our other cabinet that we've been waiting for. We installed it yesterday. And that's cool. Yeah. So there is, let me back into Maverick's doorway. Ignore that piece of OSB, that's just a project. And yeah. And this does open. It's close, but it does open. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So that's done. It might need a little trim along the top. There's a little crack up there at the ceiling, but no big deal. So this whole area is now just finished. Finished, checked off the list. Finally, did you guys know? I put a plug on the dryer, finally. This is the first time ever. I've never, I haven't used it, but we've tried it. Let me show you light turns on. This dryer is brand new, never used. So look at this. Crazy, I can't even close the door. It's so light, the whole, the whole dryer moves. <laughs> there is a stiff latch on that. I wonder if we can fix that. Look at the whole thing moves everywhere. Have you guys ever saw a dryer this light? We keep this on here so it doesn't get scratched. Mm-hmm. But and we still gotta take this blue film off. This is protecting the stainless. Uh let's see. How does this work? I don't even know. How do I stop it? <laughs> so there it is, working dryer. Uh we still gotta hook the hose up actually. Which smell the hot air. That'll come later. Yeah.
And before we go, I thought I'd give you guys a final tour of the living room as it is right now with the completed work that we got done. Uh, this is going to be the computer desk area in our living room. We're going to have two computer areas, bedroom, living room. So we're going to have our desk here similar to the bedroom. It's going to have black legs, wood top, and we're going to try to put some wood shelves above it. It's going to look really cool. And then over here is the front entry area, and the entry is going to have a different floor actually. It's going to be tiled. The rest of the room is going to be laminate. Um, in the back here, we're going to try to build in a bench and probably a shelf or cubbies up above with a coat hooks underneath them. I think that's what we're going to do. And coming around to the rest of the living room, you can see we got our trim done. That looks really good. I got a hole fill and uh, shellac them or oil them. Um, you guys might notice this little spot in the wall while we're painting. We left that because I have a mark on the wall marking the center of a framed opening in the wall for a wood stove chimney pipe to go through. We plan on putting a wood stove right here soon, in the future. We're not sure yet, but we're going to have a wood stove there. And that's pretty much it for the room as far as that goes. This is just a living area with couch and whatever furniture we put in there.